Body Image and Mental Health, Analyzing Experiences of Varsity Offensive Linemen. Offensive linemen play a critical role in football, typically acting as the largest and strongest players on the field due to their role in protection. However, research has shown that these same players face a varied level of internalization and body image issues as a result of their size. Research has depicted higher levels of body dysmorphia and social physique anxiety, along with facing constant ridicule from coaches, being labeled as fat. The constant need to strive to be big and strong forces these linemen to struggle both mentally and physically, as body fat percentage can be associated to athletic competence and self-esteem. The goal to get larger in order to be more competent and efficient at the position has seen players dealing with increased levels of obesity as they attempt to meet expectations, unknowing of future health issues as a result of their health practices. There is very limited research on body image concerns within American football, especially at a more specific level with university offensive linemen. We can realize that carrying around a significantly large amount of mass and body fat can have physically negative tolls on one's health, but are there correlated mental health issues alongside it? Not only that, but it is difficult to maintain such a large amount of weight, naturally. So are there mental difficulties that come with doing such a thing and pushing the human body to such great physical limits? As a result, the purpose of this research will be to understand if there are body image issues within the offensive linemen, allowing us to gain insight on whether players are truly happy with their size, or if they feel pressured to be a certain size in order to meet physical expectations. Furthermore, we will be able to understand how we can prevent negative body image or body dissatisfaction within these athletes. We will be conducting a four-step method in order to collect and analyze our data. Step one will be to utilize SATAQ4 to establish grounds on levels of internalizations, allowing us to understand how players deal with sociocultural transmitters along with muscular and thin ideals. Step two will be conducting the interviews themselves. We will conduct interpretivist-based semi-structured interviews whether in person or through phone, Zoom calls, or Skype calls, to get more personal and flexible responses on how athletes view their own body image. Step 3 will be repeating the interviews. We will conduct the same interviews throughout the year for active players. Players will be interviewed during preseason, during the season, and during the off-season. And Step 4 will be data analysis. We will collect data both transcribed and or audio, and utilize inductive thematic analysis to see similarities and common themes amongst the athlete response. Proposed implications can include the fact that players may be hesitant to give honest answers on both means of data collection. Such a topic can be difficult to talk about due to varying societal pressures. As a result, this research can be important in offering a chance for others to speak on experience leading to more research going into mental health and body image studi studies in relation to the sport. Furthermore, this research can be used to create different interventions to help manage, monitor, and maintain a positive self-body image amongst these athletes, ensuring they maintain a positive behavior throughout the year of their career. As well, this type of research can be utilized to look past one's career and create interventions or programs to ensure athletes maintain positive self internalization after their careers. The football programs and youth sports them th themselves can use the data to create awareness around body positivity and body image, creating a safe space for all athletes to feel safe and welcome.